Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Golden Hat Show. I am Chizoba Chukukola. Golden Hat Show is an informative program where we focus on the impact of humanitarian services and assistance in our society. On Golden Hat Show, we meet, we talk, and we share it. Today, we will be talking about the secret benefits of giving to the less privileged. What I like most about today's topic is that it captures the essence of what Golden Heart Shield stands for. Do you know that most people find it very difficult to give to the need of a less privileged? Some people, just for one reason or the other, reasons that are best known to them, decide not to give. Well, let me tell you, no matter your tribe or your religion or the color of your skin, the benefit of giving applies to everyone. Do you know that donating to the less privileged reduces your tax burden? Yes, it is tax deductible. Donating to charity reduces your taxable income. Certain donations provide even more tax breaks depending on the charity, amount of the gift, the age of the donor, and other factors. This is done by providing how much money you contributed to charity and request for a deduction in your taxable income. So, for those of us that love giving, this is another way to reduce your tax income. When you're short on cash, you can donate things you don't want or need to charity. Things like clothes, furniture, cars, and claim the value of those goods as deduction. Hmm, yes. Now, don't take this information for granted because it's what you have to pay to get. But here, you're getting it free. Well, to the next one. Another second benefit of giving to the less privileged is education. Giving to the native provides a golden opportunity for learning about issues surrounding that particular need. Most people prefer to learn about a charity before donating, which in turn is offered a wider perspective. Giving to worthy causes gives us insight, new information, and access to different points of view about social issues such as mental illness, homelessness, hunger, or poverty. The next secret benefit of giving to the less privileged is that it activates the reward system in your brain. Do you know that charitable contribution creates a response in the brain that mimics one activated by drugs or other stimuli? Charitable giving can feel pleasurable in the deepest part of your psychology. It makes you come alive. Yes, that feeling that you get that makes you feel good about yourself inside of you is full of joy and gratitude. So giving to the less privileged makes you come alive. So make sure you get yourself involved in giving and donate something to the less privileged and see how happy you will be. One primary benefit of giving time or money is the opportunity to develop connections with other like-minded or passionate people. Giving time or money is an effective way to meet new people and to become more involved with issues that hold practical meaning for you. For many people, the feeling of kindness and generosity involved in giving to the needy results in overall improved feelings towards other people. So why don't you take advantage of this opportunity and connect with like-minded people? Talking about health as a sacred benefit of giving to the less privileged, it reduces rates of stress. The improved happiness and health of people who volunteer and make charitable contribution is likely linked to reduce rates of stress as well. Research has found that charitable givers experience reduced rates of stress and lower blood pressure compared to those who do not give. Another secret benefit of giving to the less privileged is induced civic 
engagement. If you found a cause you like to support your donation, it's usually just a matter of time before you start contributing your time to that cause as well. A hearty rate of volunteerism improves the overall health and longevity of local organizations. So, give your time and your money to the cause you believe in. And in so doing, you are performing your civic responsibility. So finally, on the sacred benefit of giving to the less privileged, it improves your employees' morale. Corporate enterprises give for all kinds of reasons, including an improved public image, increased benefit and tax breaks. And according to research, participating in your company's giving campaigns will make your skill a part of your corporate team. Employers who want to improve retention and team building should offer company giving campaigns and volunteer opportunities for employees. Now, those are the benefits you get when you give to the less privileged. So give today and you put on a smile on someone's face. And with that, we come to the end of today's show. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned something today. But please, before we go, please don't forget to join us on our social media platforms showing on the screen right now. You can also contact us on the number showing on the screen right now. Please do subscribe on the button down there, click on the notification bell, and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Until I come your way next time with another video, do go to someone to speak.